This is a super cool moment for me because it's the first time that I get to say that I made a track with one of you guys and I'm hoping to do it a whole lot more so be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you exactly how maybe you and I could make a track like this one. But first I want to tell you exactly how this track came to be. So a little over a month ago a producer named Astro Traveler slid into my Discord DMs with this message saying that he had basically seen my videos and would be down to collab if I was. Now what he didn't know at the time is that I've been in this insane stretch of doing a absurd number of collabs. So when I found out that a real person had seen one of my videos and wanted to work with me, I was 100% down before I even heard his music. And then when I did look up his music, I was 1000% sure that whatever we made was going to be an absolute vibe. So I hit him back, I asked him if he's got any projects he's working on that he might want to send my way, he thinks that I might be a good fit for. And that is when he hit me with the loop. Now listen, I was already excited to work with this dude. Like I said, it's insanely cool for me to even be able to make a video with this title. But when I heard the loop he sent me, when I tell you my jaw hit the floor, like just, just listen to this thing. It's like the sleepy lo-fi god sent down an angel to hand deliver a perfect loop, custom tailored to be the dreamiest damn beat in my discography. I kid you not, when I heard this loop, my jaw hit the damn floor, all right? I knew we had a hot one and we only had eight bars. So I hit him back. I was like, send me these stems right now. Just kidding. I was actually trying to like be normal and not like jump out of my seat. Obviously, this is a stranger I just met on the internet. I'm not trying to freak him out. I was excited. I was like, this is a dope loop. Let's work. So he sent me the stems and for the next three hours, I just put everything else to the side and I turned this into this. So let's hop into FL Studio and go through exactly what I added to this loop to turn it into the final beat, which is releasing tomorrow. So this is the full project file of the collab I made with Astro Traveler. I'm super pumped about this track, but let's hop into exactly what I did with that loop that he sent me to turn it into what you'll hear when it comes out. So the initial loop he sent me had six layers, uh, two chord layers sort of on the keys and a little bit more of like a synthy layer, a uh, lead part on the piano, a pad layer, a vocal pad layer, and then a bass line, which I actually pretty much left alone. So you can see I ended up adding some effects automation just to sort of help the loop sit a little bit better and also evolve throughout the track. But before I did any of that, the first thing I did was lay down a nice, simple, spacious drum line, and then added some brain ambience to really settle it into that lo-fi space. So I stuck with really like soft, transient, warm uh, drum tones for the most part. I definitely wanted this to be in the nice sleepy realm. And I didn't have too much crowding going on with the hi-hats. Uh, the kick is actually a little bit more active than usual, but I think that's because I ended up going with a simpler snare pattern rather than the two and the four, which is super popular in lo-fi. I just had snares on the uh, downbeat of the two every measure. So this is what the loop sounded like once I laid some drums down. I felt like it was a little bit thin, both percussively and sort of in the melodic elements. So I layered up a couple of sort of like Foley and Shaker loops here. And then I also added this high swell and choir sound from Spitfire Labs. And I mirrored the main piano melody with some bells in the second half of the first drop. So uh, I was starting to fill out a little bit with all these layers added in here. So from there, I really just had to add a few transition sounds, which I got from the Namaste by Prithvian Friends pack. Mostly like white noise and cymbal transitions, nothing too fancy, just to kind of keep the energy flowing. 
um, and fill some of that high-end texture that I like. And then as the arrangement progresses, I just sort of add and take away a few of the parts, like the lead disappears in this middle bridge section, the drums simplify a little bit, and then we've got some effects automation, like some high-pass EQing comes in on the chords to thin out the bass a little bit. An EQ comes down on the snare to make it a little bit more like sawed off, a little bit more muffled in this bridge section just to create some contrast. Um, and then we've got a nice big transition where some new shaker loops come in and a little bit of a drop out here sort of creates contrast in the last section. But it would not be one of my tracks if I didn't lay down a little bit of sleepy lead guitar. So that's just what I did. I pulled in my classic Archetype Pliny Electric Sunrise intro preset, cut some of the lows out just so it wouldn't be fighting with the bass or the chord part too much, and left that nice wet reverb and delay to sort of fill some of the dead space in that melody that I laid down. On the whole, it's not a crazy complicated guitar melody. I definitely wanted to leave room for the piano melodies that he had already laid down. Kind of played with the space a little bit just so that there would be something filling the gaps and really, uh, taking the lead, but I didn't want to overdo it too much with a bunch of harmony layers and uh, maybe call and response on the guitar so much. And yeah, all of that came together for a drop that sounds like this. I don't want to get too bogged down in this video about all the specific production details of this one. So if you guys do want to see a more in-depth breakdown of this specific beat, definitely leave a comment. Let me know. I'd be happy to do an in-depth tutorial style breakdown where I go through all the plugins and effects that I was doing. But yeah, I basically wrapped this thing up in just a couple of hours and shipped the rough cut back to Astro Traveler. And I was really excited to hear that he liked this thing as much as I did. And from there, all we had to do was talk about a name and decide where we wanted to submit it as far as labels go. And within 24 hours, we had already heard back that it was accepted by none other than Mellowfy Records. So big shout out to those guys for supporting us in this release. And I'm so excited to say that my first track with a subscriber is releasing tomorrow on all streaming platforms. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to go check it out, show some support, especially for Astro Traveler. I think he really killed it with this loop and it made my job insanely easy. I really didn't have to do anything fantastic at all to turn this into what I think is one of my favorite tracks that I've ever worked on. Look, I had so much fun working on this track. It sort of got me thinking that since I am such a small, uh, like YouTuber or whatever this thing is. I'm kind of in a unique position where I can literally interact with every single one of you, you know, reply to all your comments, interact with you and answer questions, give you feedback. I don't know, like truly have a relationship with every single one of you that want to have a relationship with me. And I really wanna take full advantage of that opportunity while we still can. So I am so excited to announce that we now have a community Discord server. This is my first time setting up a server. I'm really looking for you guys to help me out and make sure that it's got everything that you hope it would have. I really want this to be a good way for you and I to connect and for you to connect with other producers, maybe in a similar place as you. Uh, find collaborators, find people that like what you like, and just sort of have a community around this common interest that we all share. And as a special way to kick this off, I want to invite you to send me samples just like Astro Traveler did. And if we get enough, I'd love to build like a community collaborative beat tape, EP, maybe even an album, and see if we can get this thing landed on a decent label. and help everyone grow kind of all together. So you can hop in the server now, it's linked in the top of the description. You can take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with some of the channels that I've already got set up. Uh, introduce yourself to the community. Uh, and then if you scroll all the way down to this YouTube games gang section, <laughs> I've got a community tape channel where I'm gonna try to set it up so that you guys can send me samples, but no one else will be able to see them uh, just in case, you know, you didn't want someone to see them before they were ready or anything like that. 
so hopefully you'll feel comfortable sending uh, your samples there and I'll be able to reach out to you individually about potentially working together and getting this thing on a community tape. Anyway, I'll be hanging out in here a ton if you've got any questions or need anything clarified. I have no idea how this is going to go. This is my first time doing anything like this. So hopefully we can all learn together and you guys can give me a long leash as I try to figure it out. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.